Hello there. I'm glad you could join me on this cold and misty morning in late January. Today I'm going to show you how I've made this early 14th century coin pouch, and I'm going to show you how you could make one too. I hope you enjoy. So, where do we begin? I usually like to base a project such as this on an original artifact or depiction, so I have done just that. I found an image of an original coin pouch from the early 14th century, thanks to the fantastic resource lastdata.com. However, the original photo of the artifact is not in the public domain, so my sketch of it will have to do for now. The link to the original image is in the description. Not much is said about the artifact aside from its size and material. The material listed is leather, however that can refer to any kind of animal skin from pig skin to cow skin or deer skin. I have opted for pig skin for the bags and cowhide for the straps, as pig skin is very supple and good for pouches and bags, and the leather is quite good for toughness and keeping things together. The leather shown in the original also seems to exhibit the same properties as pig skin for the bags. The pattern I have made is relatively simple, consisting of only 10 parts, 4 of which are identical. I made the templates out of paper for the bag components, and cut the rest out with a ruler as a guide. If you would like to follow along and make one of these yourself, the tools you will need are as follows. An awl, needles, a sharp knife, scissors, a hole puncher for leather, and some kind of implement for incising into the leather. Materials for this project can be found at Leprevo Leathers. The first stage after the pigskin components were cut out was to place them with their good sides against each other. This is because this will be sewn on the inside of the bag and then turned inside out for the final piece. To sew this, I poke holes with an awl and sew along them using a saddle stitch. Once all the sewing is complete, the bags are turned inside out and holes are punched for the leather cords to go through. Now we can move on to a somewhat more experimental part of the process, that of tooling the strap. Vegetable tanned leather has a unique ability to be tooled to show an image or text. There is evidence for this use of imagery or, or text within the period, ranging from knife scabbards found in the Thames to leather cases beautifully carved and embossed with biblical verses, or scenes of nature or even fantastical creatures. For this project, I have decided to use a section of a verse from Acts 2035 in Latin which reads, Ipse dixit beatius est magis dare quam acipere. This translate to it is said that it is blessed to give rather than receive, which I thought was quite an appropriate inscription to have on a coin purse. The script I used came from St. Margaret's Church from 1349. I found this alphabet through a very useful book, Alphabets and Numbers of the Middle Ages by Henry Shaw. To incise the leather, Firstly, it is made slightly wet, but not soaked, as the inscription is outlined. Then, to make the words more permanent, a scalpel is used to deepen the marks.
These cuts are then widened and the process is complete. Once the tooling was complete, I was ready to dye the leather with a mahogany color. Note that the original is photographed monochromatically, so the colors are an educated guess based upon other examples. Now that I have dyed sufficiently, I could piece it all together, and it was complete. Please note that I am not hugely experienced at this, but I hope you learnt as much as I did. Thank you for watching, and good luck if you attempt to make this too.